the last couple of days here in America, it's been pretty cold out. Um, and different countries, they measure temperature in different ways. Most people do Fahrenheit or Celsius. Well, there is at some point, though, that the degrees in Fahrenheit is equal to the degrees in Celsius. And I'll show you how you do that. So first, the formula to find Fahrenheit in terms of Celsius is Fahrenheit degrees is equal to Celsius degrees times 9 fifths plus 32. And the formula to find Celsius in terms of Fahrenheit is Celsius degrees is equal to Fahrenheit degrees minus 32 times 5 ninths. Okay, that's great and all. Um, but how does that help us find it when it's equal? We have different variables. Well, we can set both equations equal to each other, and we can assume that this f and the c are equal, and so we can see that c degrees times 9 fifths plus 32, 32, is equal to, well, Fahrenheit degrees minus 32 times 5 ninths, but here we're in a predicament because we have Fahrenheit and Celsius still. Well, if we're trying to find where they're equal, we can just make them equal, instead of them equal to the same variable, at some variable that F and C are equal. So we, let's just use X, everyone's favorite little variable here. X times 9 fifths plus 32 is equal to X minus 32 times 5 ninths. Okay, and now we have, well, just the variable x, and we can maybe solve for x. All right, well, x times 9 fifths is 9x over 5 plus 32 equals distribute that 5 ninths to both, both parts here, and so we have 5x over 9 minus 32 times 5 ninths will give us that 160 over 9, okay? And now we can just solve for x, so let's subtract a 5 ninths x to both sides, we're getting small here, and I'll subtract a 32 to both sides, and we are left with now, oh, 9 fifths min uh, minus 5 ninths, that simplifies, I did the math already, and that's 56 over 45, x equals oh, negative 160 over 9 minus 32, that simplifies to be a good old fraction, 448 over 9. And so now at this point, if I want to get x by itself, well, we just multiply both sides by 45 over 56. And now we're left with, well, x equals, what's kind of cool, this just simplifies right out to be negative 40 degrees. So if it gets really cold outside and anyone asks you how cold it is, it ends up being negative 40 degrees, and they ask you, well, is that in Fahrenheit and Celsius? You can reply, you pick. Thank you for watching and have a great day.